Assalamualaikum Dr. Nur Hayati. This is our chosen company which is Nino Carpenters Nebrahan. My name is Fatiha Farmiti Bisal and my group member are Nur Nana Binti Abdul Hamid, Putri Anis Amira Binti Muhammad Kamal, Nurul Anis Binti Hasmin and Nur Farah Adibah Binti Muhammad Zulkifli. Now, I will introduce a little bit about background Nino Carpenters Nebrahan. This company was established in 1972. Nino Craft Printers was initially a little press printing company and has eventually grown into one of the largest offset printing and packaging in Malaysia in 2000. They have hardware including the color management by GNG. They also have a good printing machine in SEA KBA 185. They are now present in three countries, which is Malaysia, Singapore, and Philippines. The problem statement that we can state based on our observation are safety workplace, which is worker at every station on the globe. Next, difficult to minimize the cost in terms of upgrading the machine, buying ancillary, and improving the quality product. Other than that, disciplined employee. Educate all employers to be disciplined to ensure they will follow the company rules to encourage them to obey with the SOP. In addition, inefficient work process lead to repeat work due to the careless that the worker has such as lack of ink, missed pictures on control setting, and variety of them. Lastly, outdated technology and equipment prevent the ability of the string line work to from inefficiency and a slower production cycle. The objective of this study is to be exposed a student to a real situation in the production line to be able to know the flow process of the producer from beginning to end, to be expected to analyze the current situation of the company by applying tools and techniques that have been taught in class, to propose possible improvement and solution to the problem in the company during the site visit, and the last one is to be observed around the production line area to give suggestion in work design to improve on the current situation in the company in order can increase the potential in terms of productivity, efficiency and quality. The scope of production line in Ninocal consists of printing, laminate that it use UV, sport UV and full UV, and finally, the binding process, which is the assembly and gluing process, which consists of folding, stitching and gluing. Their product range is labeled, blister pack, retail box, folding carton, manual and books, box filler and rigged box, and case cover. The sector, they focus on the food and beverage, medical and cosmetic, and electronic electrical sector. For the literature review, we will focus on the theories that will be mentioned in improving this project. The first theory is about clear and larger signage. We emphasize the signage to be on each of workstations. For example, if there is a newly employed worker, the worker will easily identify the arrangement of the workstations as there is labeled signage to refer to. Also, safety signs provide benefits to the organization other than the signage of the workstations. According to Brian 2016, safety signs help workers to be aware of hazards in the workplace. The second theory is on safety training. Based on the Department of Statistics Malaysia, there are 21,534 occupational injuries from 15.06 million of employed persons in Malaysia. Safety training is crucial and has to be implemented. It gives many benefits such as reduced costs and allowing organizations to build safe culture. Other than that, an even road in the factory area can damage the goods as the outbound process requires the transportation to pass by the factory road. Besides that, there are three workstation processes that we focus on, which are the stitching station, where the pages of paper are joined, the folding station, whereby it carefully done by machines and operators, and the last station is the cutting station. Lastly, the ineffective activities, which are the activities that do not bring value added to the operation line, that refers to the unnecessary motion. The ineffective activity can be turned into opportunities by improving them into activities that brings value to the operation line production.
For this methodology, the first one is receiving an approval from the company. Our group took the first step by making an email regarding this site visit to Lenikov Stadium, Bahrain. It is a method of sending and receiving messages using electronic devices. Regarding the site visit, we get Lenikov Stadium, Bahrain. This visit aims to experience the actual production environment and how the products are produced from the initial to the final process. The last one is data collection. Among them is the use of standard time. For a standard time, it involves three stations, which were staging stations station, cutting station, and folding station. Data collection was taken for three specific stations only because we have seen there are possibility to make future improvement in the station. Data has been collected for three observation times as stated in the site the total standard time for three stations. Throughout the observation station during the industrial visits, we managed to do assumption about the movement of a worker in those three stations, which were classified as elements in this data collection report. Data collection was taken for three specific stations only because we have seen there are possibility to make future improvement in the station. Data has been collected for three observation times as stated in the site the total standard time for three stations. Throughout the observation station during the industrial visits, we managed to do assumption about the movement of a worker in those three stations, which were classified as elements in this data collection report. We include a sketch illustrating the company production layout and a flow chart. We start with the used plate storage area, where the storage of new plates and their reusable plates are stored near the plate machine. Afterwards, we visit a checking and wrapping area for unfolded printing box such as a uh, coffee maker. We continue to analyze every work activity throughout the site visit. And then we managed to enter a printing area with an unpleasant smell due to using ink as one of the compulsory raw material needed to produce printing. This area consists of two big printing, which is to produce 270 GS. Um, printing paper according to the specific design given by the customer and there are also scanner and table like which are tools for soft copy so it could be as well as printing tools which are tools for soft copy as well as a printing machine for ATG SM paper type printing OPP and UV station consists of three different types of printing machines such as printing full UV printing spot UV and printing made or glues the printing process involved is different for every machine in this area. We managed to visit an automatic box gluing station for die cut box. At that time, the production produced a tissue box where trim paper was loaded into the machine for gluing purpose. As the machine movement is faster than manpower capabilities, they store the box in the storage for a while to ensure the working area is properly arranged. At the cutting station, one machine ran during this site visit while other are idle. Three operators are needed when a worker needs to load in the raw material, which in this case are prepared within 300 to 400 GSM. For the installation, there will be four folding machines, but only one was operating, but the other three are idle because there is no operator. Then we visit a stitching station where the machine automatically staples the manual booklet page with the help of main power to put the raw material in the semi-auto assembly station. There consists of three different machines, which also need one at the end of the process to fold the glue power duct into shape. It can be a small box or medium-sized retail. In the assembly station for complex and small box, such as earphone and headphone retail box, the station need more than 10 operators involved because it requires the manpower to shape and fold the box using their hand. The laminate station has two types of machines which are for small box and for the large box. The company has its own cheap part and sometimes also it as a raw material in this process.
A suggestion of the workplace environment. The first suggestion is signage, providing clear or larger signage on each station process production to enhance the knowledge of each layout of station. The signage ensure proper placement near the relevant workstation or equipment. Second is to provide safety training. The suggestion may be made by providing proper gloves to ensure that suitable gloves are readily available for all workers at each station. However, by encouraging workers to suggest improvement related to glove usage and workplace safety. The regular maintenance schedule for the road. Responsible authority needs to make a review by repairing the uneven road so that the area is safe to ensure the worker do not occur any injury. This may involve periodic inspection, addressing minor repairs properly, and implementing preventive measures to extend the road lifespan. Next suggestion is provide worker with an economic chain. As per our observation, workers have improper posture during production. Our recommendation is to provide worker with an economic chain. It help worker to do their work comfortably and safely, and their work become more effective. And lastly, we are not as much maintenance to repair the damage. The suggestion is to implementing detecting technology to take preliminary action for the safety of the worker from any accident occurring, such as sensor or monitoring system to provide real term alert or notification when leak is detected, allowing for immediate action. This slide is regarding a suggestion for the workstation process. The process is stitching station. Based on the picture, we have summarized the movement of worker at the stitching station by eliminating delay to the machine, deciding the workstation to be ergonomic, providing workers with training on how to use their hands in more coordinated way. However, using tool and material that are designed for two-hand use, this tool and material can make it easily for worker to complete tasks quickly and efficiently. This slide is regarding the folding station. According to the figure, we facilitate the movement of worker at this station to reduce delays as worker have to wait for the machine while machine is running. Worker are more likely to produce accurate and consistent work. This can help to reduce the number of defects or improve the overall quality of the product. Also, worker who have able to use both hands are often more certified with their job. And lastly is the cutting station. To improve this station, redesigning the work environment could involve things like changing the layout of the station, providing more space and using better lighting. Workers in this cutting station are providing a foot pedal to control the cutting tool or free up one hand for another task, such as holding the workpiece. A jig of features to hold the workpiece in place allow worker to use both hands to operate the cutting tools and it will also help to ensure that the workpiece is cut accurately. This slide is about the ineffective activity. We have identified five types of ineffective worker action that may be discovered in the Linocraft printer center Berhad. The first ineffective activity is difficult movement. As for the characteristic of manual die cut, it makes the worker move frequently in order to carry out the final product at the storage area. The possible solution is needed to evaluate the workplace and make necessary economic adjustment to promote better posture. Second is weight. According to our observation, the printing process, limited process and cutting of session require the use of the machine. The solution to effective work is to eliminate the waste or delay to ensure that always engage in meaningful or productive activities. The third ineffective activity is movement detected by the eyes. As per our observation, the possible causes to the worker in the orange uniform as the checker in the session of PP and UV, they need to identify every single unit product to spot the defect. To reduce ineffective activity, ensure that the monitor is positioned at an appropriate height and distance with the proper lighting to reduce eye fatigue. Drag and wrench as per our observation. The worker is doing the pulling action to transform the product to another destination by using an improper tools. By solving this ineffective activity, needs to provide employees with economic equipment and tool designed to reduce the strain and effort required for folding action. And lastly, is executive energy required. The awkward movement can be found in the limited section because the worker make a movement to carry the product from the conveyor into the pallet. The solution is, we may look for simplifying process can help to reduce energy expenditure and improve overall productivity. As a result, this site visit gives our group experience in knowing about the real situation of the work environment in a company. Observations on each station will reveal or give insight into the real problems. It can be seen based on the use of good work design in a company that is very beneficial in helping to increase efficiency towards a higher level.
Here, we include some pictures in the appendix as evidence. Thank you for listening. That's all from us.